Good evening, Twitch. How you doing? It's Wednesday night. Hopefully you're having yourself a good week so far. Tonight, we're going to be playing a little more EDF. I was thinking of actually testing out the component side of our capture card, but... I can be a very indecisive person, and at the same time, I always try and think of a game I can want to play for a couple hours. Just to, you know, part of it is you want to be entertained yourself. And I couldn't really, I wasn't really feeling any specific game that I would want to stream uh, tonight. Maybe another night. I do want to actually take the time overall and actually input all of the games I actually do own finally into my backloggery. I'll just be adding them as stealth ads so you can actually see now uh, which games for the Wii I own, which games for the GameCube I own, and maybe in the future, uh, what I actually have right now is a suggestion box. You can actually scroll down and there's a suggestion box and pretty much can use that for pretty much anything. If there's anything you'd like to see uh, the stream would actually have or if I should invest in something or maybe you just want to see a specific game uh, that I own that you would want to see me play just because either you won't, you, know, you don't have it and I own it and I can show it off or something you might want to request for us like the backlog or just, you know, like I said, demoing games that I've played before. That would be fun. Of course, as with any suggestions, they're suggestions. <laughs> so, please don't feel, uh, take offense if I don't follow through with said, said suggestions immediately or instantaneously. But for tonight, though, let's continue defending the Earth, the Earth and let's play a little more EDF. We've been playing that for quite some time. I don't even know if I actually have it set up on my capture device. I probably don't. No, I do. I do. Good. Select a number of players. So I always play offline mode just pretty much because well This game's online mode is brutally difficult. Incredibly difficult actually. <laughs> Online, not simply just because of the weapon restrictions, but because of how much health they actually give uh, the enemies in the online mode. Offline mode, it's fun. You can go through it with, uh, you know, if there was actually a requirement, I don't even think there is actually a setup here uh, that actually sets any sort of weapon restriction or anything like that. So, offline mode is always just full bore, just have fun with it. I would highly, of course, recommend if you do buy and play this game, turn off uh, the screen shake. Your uh, your eyes and your monitor will th <laughs> your eyes will thank you. Uh, we're going to keep on playing the Wing Diver. I was messing around with the Aerator. Aerator, oof, just gets it the roughest in this game. But I think also what I want to do just because we can, I'll take this. I want to actually show off some of the special weapons we actually have, because I've never actually tried a lot of these, and I'm kind of interested in seeing what they can do. Because I don't know if they're unlimited ammo or not. And so I'm just really curious about it. Depending on what stage we're actually on. I'm trying to remember what stage we're on here. So we've done Crimson. Actually, I was, I was farming Crimson, that's right. Where were we? Oh! Oh, right, we're on that. Ooh. Hmm. That's a really good mission to actually farm a lot of uh, armor. But it's also brutally difficult. I want to change the gun, at least. That's not the right weapon. Choose loadout. Wing divers can equip two weapons. What would be a better range? What's the range on this? 192, 120... Yeah, you know what, let's just go with the laser. Select a mission. Select a no, that's not it. We need to go to brute force. Select a deploying. This is zone four. Still clear. This is such a actually, you know what we can actually try out the uh, grenade right now. I'm curious. No how oh my god. Are, we have to hold oh. That's actually interesting. Incoming! 
And I really should be careful. Doesn't look like it actually takes any uh, takes any energy either. Yeah, you are literally just firing a grenade. And I no, I can't. Uh, lasers have very short short range. Oh, right, air raid first. I'm just gonna end up dying here because of the air raid. Just, I'm just gonna keep firing until I can actually hit this thing. Or not. Oh, there you go, I think I... Oh. There you go, now I'm in range. Oh, that is a weird. That's weird to actually use. I'm okay using this laser gun, though. The laser gun will carry us to victory. Oh, I actually apparently grabbed these guys as my unit. Better start Pretty much should start picking up all this stuff. So one thing I actually learned thanks to a couple of you guys on uh, in chat is actually farming armor or health in this game is actually a pretty long process for the wing diver. I mean it makes sense she's basically your DPS of the team. Move forward and draw their fire. Get as close to the shields as possible. I mean the range is your other DPS, but I mean like your mobile I guess it's your mobile DPS. Let's go pick up all this stuff, because there actually is a hard cap on how many items can be actually on the field, and I would not mind Infantry units, double time. Move letting myself have a lot of more, a lot more health, because it's only like 0.26 for every piece of, uh, for every armor pack you pick up, so if there's actually a reason as to why you never get enough Get enough health after you pick up like 200 armor packs. Well, there's your reason why. And of which. So it looks like the grenades are actually pretty much medium range. Laser is always a solid bit. Probably should kill that guy though. Probably not gonna get any new. Actually, I know I'm not gonna get any new weapons. Not gonna get any new weapons from any of these missions here, just simply because I already have a lot of the weapons you could possibly get. So let's take out the big one. There we go. There we one. I always found it weird, like these soldiers literally just uh, run away. Like they were literally just, you know, they literally just run past everyone. So if you don't actually grab them, they leave the map completely. That, that's a sign where you know I've played this game too much. I have played this game way too much. 
And of course, the enemies will always prioritize you. So please stop aiming at me. Damn it! I really hate the Gatling gun guys. They just freeze you in place. I have an air raid on this difficulty? I don't know if I can. Yes, sir. Well, there's all the insects. A lot of insects. Go from the left. Hurry up and shoot. Leave it to me. Come in, everybody. Here, have a grenade. The enemies are gonna blow. Kill this thing. I owe you a little bit. Just like we planned. Understood. <laughs> oh, I can blow myself up with a grenade. Okay, apparently when the wing diver is in the air, she does not change her arc. You'll all be fine. Just trust in the power of the grenade. And it's delicious, delicious plasma. Probably actually... Yeah, that's a little weird, actually. Like, it doesn't, uh... Charge up. Oh, come on. Get off me, Red Ant. The one reason I actually wanted the electro weapon, but I decided against it. I just like how chaotic this actual map is. Alright. Stop. <laughs> I know I'm having fun because I'm I know I've have I have no problem taking this on and as long as there's allies around, well I'll be living. Like I said, you can get a lot of uh, armor on this map. Although playing this on like uh, hardest difficulty, that was a oof. That was a rough battle. I would definitely recommend taking like a homing weapon though with you on this mission. Like just look how many items. Kinda wish like there was a way you could actually kinda like an ease all the items. Don't shoot me. Okay, they're all just gonna target me. Oh, everyone's dead. How lovely. Armor division has arrived. Oh good. division. Launch an attack. So one thing I probably should note about this, if you actually 
with the guys with the plasma launchers there. It, well, just if you hit any of the Hectors here, they basically bounce away. It's actually a really good way of preventing yourself from getting shot. That doesn't do much damage, but very least, can certainly make sure that you'll be alive. I also just realized I'm taking care of all these units all by myself here, just because I want to pick up all this armor. Nope, they're not even dropping items anymore. I'm basically looking for the red boxes. I should pick up the health kits, though. They don't actually do anything, but hey. It's all about that cap. There's only one enemy left. Kinda wish there was a better way to uh, pick up all this stuff. Ah, oh, damn it! Ran out of jetpack fuel. No, let me get the item. Plasma whip. Ooh, we actually did get a new weapon. So 103. So we probably got. Let's see, 0.25. So probably about 25 health. Yep, about 25 health. Let's actually take a look and see what that Choose laser whip is. I'm curious. Wing divers can equip two I... Laser whip? Hello? Where's where's the laser whip? whip? Plasma fall... Plasma whip! Ah, here we are. 2,500 capacity, a special rapier with twice the range. 75 range. It's actually really good. Coming at the expense of firepower. Yeah, that makes sense. It's narrow and uh, long-reaching plasma arc blade slices enemies in a wide arc. Be careful, it requires a lot of energy to reload. <gasps> no, you're kidding. No, that that can't be right. Can it? Also, accuracy L? I've never seen that before, actually. Well, let's try it. So let's try that, and let's also try, let's try some of these special weapons here. I'm curious. Let's see. Let's try the Psy Cluster. Actually, no. Let's try the Heaven's Gate. So we're going to be kind of experimenting with a lot of weapons here. Hey, how's it going, Wayward? So the Wing Diver is kind of like, uh, Ion from Titanfall. So I'm managing your power and trying not to put it all in one thing. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's... Okay. So, that's what you do. That's an interesting weapon, and it takes a while to recharge. A vicious giant insects who have once again come back. So, we're just going to be playing the laser light show. This is going to be a very low damage weapon, but... This will be a very interesting run through of charge phase here. This is really weird for weapon, and this is actually really bad. Actually, I probably should kill those two first. This is actually going to be very difficult, because the problem with this is, uh... 
this weapon here is every time I reload it, it actually takes all of my uh, all of my energy. So it's very low damage, extremely high ammo, which is the one positive. Good range. But man, oh man. Does this thing have problems? I don't even know. This is not a good weapon. I could tell you that right now. This is not a good weapon. Oh, we're dead. We are so dead. Uh. Seems there's a difference between seem and is. And I think this is one of those things where it looks effective, but not really, because this is a really low damage weapon. Like, even lower than the lasers. I mean, I could see from the outset why it would be. The rude sandstorm plays in the background. Nah, I can't play po copyrighted music, unfortunately. Yeah, that's... Ugh, I am not using this weapon again. Ugh. And that Heaven's Gate takes a while for it to actually recharge. We have brought a terrible weapon combination into this mission. Absolutely terrible. At the very least, we can actually get through some of the sections here a little bit faster. A laser light show. Exactly! I mean, my one, you know, benefit right now is that I have so much, um... Really should throw the grenade before I actually charge on into this mess here. And this is... There we go. Oh! Oh! That's even worse! They just run into it and it just takes out the grenade. Oh, that... Alright, my Heaven's Gate weapon is completely useless. Well, lessons have been learned. I kind of want to experiment. I feel like if I just kept using the same weapon set, it'd be kind of boring to watch. I'm glad, though, the capture cards were... Uh, this is working, though. Katamari of Death. Yeah, that's what's supposed to be, but the problem is, I think this was basically meant to be an outdoor weapon. And speaking of outdoors, you need to die. Ah, fine, forget them. Probably shouldn't have actually killed them. The problem is that basically those my allies are just gonna run up ahead of me and this gun here is just gonna kill them all. Yes, Oh yeah, this was here's the thing though, like, the damage in this weapon is so low, like, if I brought this online, it wouldn't do anything to anyone. God, that is going to get me killed in this mission. I already know it. That is gonna get me killed. Well, the only thing I can do is just keep on going ahead here. There's 
psychedelic light show here. I'm actually surprised. There we go. I was wondering when that was going to happen. So, as you saw, my health just dropped. The real problem is that. Oh my god. Alright. Here, hang on a second. Let's actually try something. So, one of the big issues, as you saw there, every single enemy in this game pretty much attacks like, um, attacks using basically like a shotgun weapon. So they attack from range, and if they hit you, I need to reload, I need to take the risk, I'm probably going to get eaten. I'm running away from my life. I can't even see the damn insects. This thing doesn't actually light up Jack. Got that health pack. So if you get hit by the actual shotgun, what happens says by the shotgun from the... Or let's just call it acid from the ants. Let's keep it very much Starship Troopers. If you get hit by the acid from the ants, especially like point-blank range, you will... oof, you're just gonna die, like, drop like a rock. Not so much for my allies, because I think they got thrown through the map. Yeah, the one got thrown through the map. You can see the blue on the radar. Alright. Yeah, you see the acid there, the ant just spewed at me. this. He didn't even throw the Heaven's Gate, apparently. Yeah, so that one blue dot there, that's out of bounds, and it's just gonna keep falling for all eternity. So there should be one more wave of spiders, and then we have the actual, uh, big ants. Oh. Going underground from this hole, Ranger Team and Storm Team exterminate nearby... Oh, never mind. Secure the hole for the following units. Oh, I'm thinking of the wrong... I'm thinking of a completely different mission. Aren't I? I? Must... No, no, I'm not. I'm not thinking of a different... No, this is the right mission. I need to back up. I am... I have no idea where I am here. Look at all that acid. Oh, they're on the wall. Yeah, they're on the ceiling. Yeah, no wonder why. And we run. This is the time we run. In the moment I stop. I am going to die. I'm going to die. This is such a terrible weapon. Don't worry, uh, neither can I. All, all you need to know right now is they're still dying, and thankfully I'm still alive. They're dead, and I'm alive. Ah. Oh. God, that actually... I love I love that Monty Python game. That was such a fun game. It was such a dumb game, but it was funny. Alright, come on, let me through. I mean, the po the positive is this thing actually does reach the ceiling at least. This game, yeah. There's actually Monty Python said quite a uh, couple of games actually. There's Monty Python's Flying Circus, and which is kind of more I think like um, After Dark. It wasn't really actually a screensaver application, but it was kind of just kind of um, you know mess around and playing skits and such. We're talking this is, ooh, we're talking mid 1990s here. Uh, but then there was another one that was actually more of an actual. Like a game game, which was um, Monty Python and the Search for the Holy Grail. That was a funny one. 
And you actually like went on a quest for camp uh for the Holy Grail. But once again it was kinda like a little like mini game collection or puzzles. Like um what was it? Uh, the first one was, you know, you get to the town, uh, where all the diseased villagers are. Yeah, these are old computer games. These are like, think Windows, Windows 90. Think Windows 90. So, what would happen is they'd play like a lot of clips or audio sound effects and such. Um, as the actual, uh, with of course, uh, you know, made graphics. Very much like, uh, actually kind of used how South Park did it. White Wolf Fold Games? I'm a little confused on that. I'm not familiar with that. What's a White Wolf Old Game? I just remember, like, the, f you know, with the, uh... The uh, dirty villagers, you actually had to play Tetris. You know, the bring out your dead. That's it. You actually had to uh, play Tetris. And each of the uh, villagers were basically, you know, bring out your dead. Bring out your dead! There was also Castle Anthrax, they didn't forget that. That wasn't... actually, that wasn't so bad. The next part I'm worried about. Hammerman, ladders, and lots of old pixel games. Huh. I still have quite a few of the old pixel, uh, old games. Like, um... A Camelot. Looks like there are many giant insects under the hole. Proceed cautiously. Let's actually try and use this Heaven Gate. I don't know, like, I know a lot of games that I still have, you can buy, pretty much buy off G, uh, uh, good old games. I know they don't call themselves Geo, uh, good old games, they call themselves GOG. Which is a better branding for them, because then they can actually hold new games. So, this is a shot in the dark shot here. Right. So... That is such terrible range. There's gotta be something I'm missing here. There's gotta be something I'm missing here. Pretty though. Very pretty. And lasts a while actually if it doesn't get interrupted. And lost about for half of its charge. I'm trying to figure out though if I can get some range on the darn thing. Uh, actually, no. This is the one. So this is actually the mission I stonewalled uh, in my last stream when I was trying to beat this with the ranger on hardest difficulty. Because this is the start. This is actually the first mission where they show the green ants, which basically make them inc. Incredibly dangerous. Like, we're talking a ridiculous amount of health, and. Where the hell are these things? I know I'm walking into a trap, and that's the worst part. Yep, there we go. I'm just gonna throw this at max. Yeah, it's a. Okay, so no, I am throwing it at its height. So it's a max range. Sort of deal. Okay. Oh, I've been made. Well, at least it'll do its job this time. I have become error. So, like I said, the big problem with this mission, I'm probably gonna die right here. Because the plasma whip's not exactly a great weapon. Because there's so many ants. As you can see, they're all spewing their acid at me. And the moment, the moment I run out of ammo here, 
I'm going to die really quickly. Like, we're talking drop like a rock. Because I cannot dodge anything. Like, the, that's the one downside about the Wing Diver. She can't dodge anything. Oh, maybe actually she might not. Uh, if I could find some health. Plenty of health, right there. Look at all that health. We're actually, we'll actually survive. It's amazing. Like, all it would pretty much take is one good shot from any of these ants. Uh, you found battle chests for 1990s. Nice. I'm never, I wasn't really ever good at chess. Probably should look, try and teach myself that. Probably been primarily on the side of working out and just going and reading. Although what I think I need to do is I need to actually start planning a little bit further ahead. Ooh, look at all that armor. I am not turning away all that health. Like the max cap you can have for armor in this kit, uh, for each mission online is just absolutely ridiculous. No, GOG's got a lot of classic games that all in their collection you can buy. And we found a new weapon, the Thunderbow. Oh, maybe we are going to get a new weapons. Thunderbow 20, so let's actually use that. Choose loadout. Ooh, level 30. A Thunderbow that fires weapons. 20 bolts at once, decimating the target. This highly effective weapon also features increased ammo capacity. Ooh, let's use it. You can't find pictures on the internet or GOG of the CDs in my hand. Maybe I should make a ROM. It wouldn't hurt. Choose loadout. Wing divers can I think it's interesting just how preservation of a lot of things in this in the you know when it comes to like old games and stuff, there really hasn't made you know this some some somewhat of an effort made, but I don't think many game companies make an effort to have some way to make sure that their games, if their game company folds. Because let's be honest, a lot of you know a lot of game companies fold, or a lot of people just exit the industry, and their companies go on the wayside. So anything they've actually been interested in doesn't get uh, properly preserved. That was that was what was it? That was Heaven's Gate. Let's try. Apparently, I tried Side Cluster. Interesting. Uh, Pandora Beta. Actually, that's not Beta, is it? Crap! I forgot my uh, forgot my characters. A super weapon destroys everything around it indiscriminately. Once activated, it brings calamity. It discharges balls of energy which hang silently in the air and fires off arrows of light. Pressing and holding the attack button will determine distance, and releasing the attack button will discharge. Path is indicated by the red line. Even when discharged, and note that the speed will have an impact on direction, it is possible to control the height and trajectory of the resultant shots. Alright, let's try it. Select a mission. Select a difficult deploying. Gonna be an interesting one. Storm team, your position is no good. There are too many roads and we can't protect you. If you're attacked by the enemy there, it's over. Move. All right. I hate this mission. I hate this mission with the fury of a thousand suns. This is the mission I like to say screw off to. Because this is a terrible mission. At least, thankfully, I have a thunder weapon, so I'm not going to be too worried. Okay, I was actually kind of worried there. Storm team, you're not moving. What happened? I'm just gonna leave. Storm team, what's going on? Oh, 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 no. Storm team, what happened? Are you okay? Please just fire indiscriminately. All right. That something tells me the spiders are running into it, which is destroying it. So this is actually a very brutal mission, and I mean very brutal, 
Just simply because most of the time you'll just be surrounded at the very start of the mission. So you'll find yourself just utterly surrounded by the enemy forces. And there's nothing you can do about it. Thankfully, this new gun we had is actually really good. Because the thunder weapons are kind of like, uh, you know, bounce off the walls. Super good. I actually like the thunder weapons for the, uh... Uh, for the Wing Diver. But playing this online, though, oof, with the enemies being pure sponges. Alright, I have completely missed the enemy here. A regular game of Hunter Hunted. What the hell is that enemy? Also, normally you don't get to actually, <laughs> uh, like what you actually want to do is actually come to like an area like here, so the enemies can only come in from two areas instead of just being completely surrounded where, oof, well, good luck. Uh, boom. Alright, I like this weapon. I like this weapon. Kind of low damage though. What's that do? Let's see, 45 Choose times 20. So it's actually low damage, but man, it's... Yeah, most of the electroshock weapons are are based off crossbows. Or they're going to look like crossbows or bows. I don't think they're... No, even the... Uh... Can I move her? No, I actually don't know if I can move her. Choose loadout. Wing divers can equip yeah, most of them just kind of look like uh, bows or crossbows. Choose but, we have one more mission here. I'm not going to bring a special weapon. I'm going to actually need some... Uh, I'm going to need some th uh, firepower here. Nope, energy cost is a one-shot. Nope. So, energy cost is the one thing that you really want to watch out for. So, like, this is a bad weapon. It's really good does a thousand damage that's absurd for being a level 15 weapon but it is terrible because it's a one shot in the moment and you are out of energy and so you have to wait to recharge so what I probably will do bring oh, that's not gonna be good either hmm Forty-five times twenty. Okay, that's actually forty times twenty, eight hundred. Actually, a lot of damage. I've been using a one-shot weapon because you can't do it. Well, if you, you 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 work with what you got. I will say, like the hardest part of EDF is the start. Like when if you're going through the game on normal mode and you're going through the game, if you go especially if you're going through the game on easy mode, that's probably and if there are weapon restrictions or you just don't have any weapons, that's where it's the roughest. I mean, it is just mean. I mean, like, what a lot of people do, if they're playing offline, they'll just play a higher difficulty and farm weapons. Because the way the loot uh, happens in this game is everything starts at, basically, every single mission uh, item level starts at level zero. But what determines the cap for each mission, it's a level cap in that, you know, that's what the levels are for each of these weapons. Um... If it's part in within that level range, it has a chance of dropping. So you could do an Inferno mission and get nothing but like level zero weapons. It is statistically unlikely, but it is statistically possible. But the level range increases to such a dramatic effect, you would get like, if you just do like the first level of Inferno, you would most likely get like level 40 weapons. And you can basically use that to carry you. It's, it's like, it's like uh, Darth Vader in that Robot Chicken sketch, explaining uh, to Luke uh, everything about Star Wars from uh, the prequels. And the Empire will be defeated by Ewoks! Huh? <laughs> Alright, anyway though, enough of that. Let's go pick a weapon that... Um, so basically I'm just trying to think of a weapon that would actually destroy the Queen. Actually, what's the range of this weapon? Two... 
All right, never mind. 275. All right. Uh. Hmm. What's a fun weapon? I think of a fun weapon. Wide grenade? Oh, okay, it's literally grenade. This is a terrible idea. But it's fun, so I'm going to do it. Select a mission. Select a deploying. This is Ranger 25! Three men down, including the commander! Ranger 25, Storm Team is headed your way. Join them. Roger. Waiting for storm team. Nice human pyramid, boys. Ranger 25 is ahead of you. Join them. Thank God you're here. We'll fight with you. Damn it. Knew that was going to happen. Ah, damn it. Probably going to kill myself using this weapon. And you know what? I'm okay with that. Thankfully, these are all gray ants and not red ants. I'll shoot you dead. It's like the scarab gun from Halo. Uh, which one? The plasma rifle or the thunder? I'm gonna guess the... I think you mean the plasma launcher. Damn it! So the downside about... Well, the fun part about this game is all the insects just fly into itty bitty pieces. You're the deepest part of the nest. Behind this is the Queen's Hall. Get in there somehow and kill the Queen. Well, what makes this difficult is... I can't even see my hands in front of my face. I'm used to the dark. My hometown turned the lights off every... You know, I never really got to enjoy Halo 2 all that much. Like, I personally didn't own a, uh, Xbox. I heard that eight years ago they found the queen and killed her. Someone actually carried out this idiot mission? Whoever ordered that is the real monster. Because I was not a fan of, like, paying for, uh, to play, to play games online. Not a fan. What the hell is everyone? Probably should actually let my stuff recharge. There are many casualties. We cannot continue the battle. Ranger 23, come back to the surface. Roger, I'll evacuate. Yep. Did you hear something? You're not leaving. Then nobody's leaving this alive. Alright, that's a little too close. So you have to be very careful when their body parts start flying all over the place. Primarily because uh, if those if my plasma balls just hit any of those parts like that, I could end up hitting myself and just blowing up uh, blowing up the plasma launcher shots just in my own face. Get down. Get down and get out of here. Although it's fun to do this. Let's not blow ourselves up, shall we? Oh no, I remember like seeing Halo 2 at E3. Like I actually I've actually been to E3 twice in my life. I believe it was uh 2004, 2005. I actually still have the badges too. This is, of course, this was back in the day where if you actually, uh, this was when it was closed, but it was still, like, if you worked, uh, retail, you could actually, um, you could actually get in. The queen is in the deepest hall. 
find a way there. Your hands. You know, if I was a smarter person, I would actually wait for all those me uh all those melee uh infantry units. But I'm being very reckless right now, just to kinda kinda go through this as quickly as possible. Oh, I had a feeling that was going to happen. I always feel sorry for that lone soldier that gets lost and separated from his unit. I've never said that the general may be a terrible, uh, terrible general, but he is a compassionate general. Sacrificed much to make it this far. Complete this operation at all costs for the ones that have fallen. Change the point. Actually, surprisingly, an infantry soldier actually made it. Good job, buddy. You, you, you made it. And you brought your. Wow. Did they actually all make it? No, nah, that can't be. I think they actually are making it. I'm a little surprised at this. First off, how the heck did you get here so fast? Change the point. Get these. Just continue walking. The red shirts live for once. Hey, I'm the one who. I'm the one who always wear, who wear, wears red. Even in PUBG, I end up wearing red. And yes, I am very. It's actually related to that reference of being a red shirt. And I've actually won a few rounds too of PUBG. I am going to blow myself up doing this. Also gonna kill my own allies doing this. Yep, I am going to kill my own allies doing that. Stupid spiders. Confront your fears by killing the very thing you fear the most. So, speaking of uh, that unit that was screaming out, I don't know where to go, he's right here. Your angels in this hell. I've been waiting for someone to show up. Take me with you. <laughs> you actually can save the guy. Or, you know, leave him to rot. One of the two. No, he's not dead, unfortunately. I actually wonder if they'll ever make a Halo game the style of EDF. No. No, it's, it's 3 4 3. That owns the property, and Microsoft won't do anything to rock the boat with their franchise. I mean, Halo is a good franchise. They've done a lot of world building. They've made a lot of uh, made a lot of stuff with it, from books to uh, not just games. Like, there's a lot of stuff. And there comes the destruction. Well, I just killed their commander. Get out of here. Like after the was it the Gears of War horde mode. And these are laser light shell. I love how this map was basically 
one big map. Where the hell is this thing? There you are. They're weak. I'm bored. Top enemy on radar. Enemy confirmed. My heart is beating like crazy. Converter is normal. Oh! Oh, you're not actually supposed to fall down that pit. Because if you do, you pretty much lose like all of your infantry. Came back in a later update. Interesting. Yeah, I think if anything, like any, because the big thing is just encouraging people to pl keep playing their game. And I am going backwards. We are going backwards. Detecting enemy. I am so lost right now. Or where the hell am I supposed to go here? Oh, maybe I am. Maybe that actually was the right direction. I am so lost right now. Hey, they'll find us. I am trying to figure out where the heck I'm supposed to go here. I'll be right here, given the amount of soldiers. Yep, there they are. Okay, this is the right way. Storm team, good to see you. Up ahead is the Queen's Hall. Let's go. So, I've learned to hate this map. Just simply because it does the same thing that I would that basically that you would end up doing. And what I have done actually in uh to the enemy. Because it's a choke map. This is it's a horde of insects, and they're all coming out here. And you would think, like, hey, great, choke point. Oh, there you go. But the problem is, the queens... just end up destroying your allies. Like, yeah, that. Like, they keep spamming that. And because they keep spamming the acid, it's almost impossible to actually fly through or walk through because it's just basically like, well, it's acid. It just drains your health. There's our gigantic. Because we get bathed in acid like that. Also, yes, it does really actually suck to. Because look how. Look what it does. It just fills the entire map. So, like, there's no save point. There's no save point. It's everywhere. And that's what makes this map so terrible. It's so easy to lose on this map. And there's some vehicles in this map. Yes, uh, so you can summon a vehicle in this map if you were playing. And I just fell... Nope, I'm falling all over the place. This is Ranger 25. Three men down, including the commander. Ranger 25. It's a ter this is a terrible map. Like, I hate this map just simply because it does everything that... A smart player would end up doing to your enemies because you're you know you're constantly abusing choke points on this map too. Assuming you actually want to keep your allies alive, and they want to stay alive. Why? What did the load screen say? It lo it loads usually too quickly, and I don't really pay attention to it anymore. Oh, 
okay? We did it! This is the final stage of the operation. You're at the deepest part of the nest. On tank, it was a marine looking. How did that get there? Get in there somehow and kill the queen. I can't even see my hands in front of my face. I'm used to the dark. My hometown turned the lights off every night. Yeah, you can drop uh, stuff there. So the build, so the actual mech you actually get on this map is a walker unit. It's called a depth crawler. So what it usually will have is um, three weapons. One will always be a Gatling gun. And then the other two could be like a flamethrower, a shotgun, a cannon. Um, the actual amount of special vehicles you get, or vehicles you get, you get a lot of vehicles in, in this game, actually. Uh, but it's built off the assumption, like, to really optimize them, it requires teamwork. But most people that play this game are very much solo agents. So even though there's like a lot of mechs that take four units to like pilot or like even two or three units, most people will still opt to just kind of use their own weapons and stuff. And I don't blame them actually. Like honestly, the weakest part about ED of one of the weakest parts about EDF is actually um, the vehicles. Vehicles in this game are easily the weakest part because they control horribly on keyboard and mouse. And they don't usually offer enough firepower to to be to actually make players say like, "Hey, I want to be in a tank over anything else." Was EDF a console game before it hit Steam? Uh, I believe so, yes, actually. I really actually don't know much about the history of EDF. Like, the person who actually introduced me to this game was Proton John. Like, I was kind of looking for a game that, you know, makes you, pretty much like makes you feel good. Kind of like Dynasty Warriors, but not as, not as easy. If that's probably the best way to describe it. Find a way there. I don't know my current position. Where did everyone go? They're just constantly, you know, destroying these, you know, enemies. No, he, no, John showed it to me. No, Proton John showed it to me. Not, not the other way around. I just really played a lot of this. Actually, I don't think I really introduced John to many games because he just owns a stupid amount of games. I mean, it's like, uh, you know, I take care of the spreadsheet and such. It reminds me, I gotta re update that. Um, he's already bought like a hundred more games. In the first, in this, in the first month of 2018, he's already bought one, over a hundred games. Absolutely ridiculous. How many games I've bought? One. I, I finally bought, uh, was it, uh, Wonder Boy, The Dragon's Trap. And it was finally at, it's actually still on sale right now, it's 50% off, and I really should actually use this. Ah, oh, there it goes, I wonder when those are actually going to happen. Please get up. Just gonna keep firing up into the air. Well, like I said, he played a lot of the earlier versions of EDF and such, so... Like, let me take a look here, actually, I'm curious. So I've played about a hundred... So, 
According to Steam, I played 148 hours. I would honestly assume John's probably played maybe... Like, specifically this version. Like, just this version here. Maybe 20? I'm estimating here, I'm guessing. Look for enemies. So, like, John knows what to do and such, and he plays a very aggressive. You know... This is actually the first. This is actually the version that apparently lets you play the wing diver and the fencer for the first time. As for the confusion, it's like every single weapon is going to be different. So it's like you have all these new weapons, new, you know, new setups. Like you don't know what these ridiculous weapons are going to do because they really because the ranger he's been playing the ranger. Ranger just really throws, like, your mundane weapons at you. Here's your shotgun, here's your rocket launcher, here's your, you know, here's your X, Y, and Z. You know, very basic stuff. Not, you know, nothing too amazing. Like, Wing Diver starts off with a laser, a taser gun, a sniper rifle, a laser sniper rifle, a lightning sniper rifle. You know, stuff that's new and exciting and fun. It's like, hey, cool, this is awesome. What does the Ranger get in this class John played? It's like, oh, here's a shotgun. Here's another shotgun. Here's an assault rifle. Here's an assault rifle, but with five bullets. Yeah, K-Head was the one who played the Fencer. And he also... Because of how slow the Fencer is. The Fencer is actually really slow. I actually don't like playing the Fencer myself. I'm going to still rescue the guy. Like, you can actually get through this mission very quickly. This mission can... Can be, uh... You can go through this mission pretty quickly. But yeah, Fencers gets the... All the heavy weapons. Think of them as, like... You want to have artillery weapons, but still be a single unit. Oh, I hate that. That is why you should never probably use these the plasma launchers in... Uh, probably shouldn't use the plasma launcher weapons. Like you can go melee with the uh, with the fencer, but I personally am in the mindset of like, this is a game about guns and range. But then again, as I have an actual very solo mindset, so it's like, how am I going to be able to complete this mission, assuming everyone else dies? A horrible, horrible death. Like I really haven't messed with the shields or the swords or anything like that. It's like, give me a Gatling gun. Give me the mortar, give me the rocket, uh, no, unfortunately they don't get a rocket launcher. Uh, give me the guided missiles. And there is some synergy, actually, between, uh, the classes, like the air raider and the, uh... The air raider and the fencer class actually have some synergy, like, there's some missiles that are really powerful that the fencer has, but he can't use them unless there's an air raider in the team. good to see you. Up yeah. ahead is the Queen's Hall. Let's, Let's go. Insects Where are the giant insects hiding? <laughs> the the giant break in. Like at this point, Scorch is your highest play Titan in Titanfall and the slowest Titan in the game. Though they're burning everything in sight. An offset set. Yeah, you know, it's... Like, you really... I think the best way you'll enjoy a game is playing it at your own speed. Like, I still regret from the last time we played together, Exposure, K-Head, Proton John, and myself, uh, was that because I played this game a lot more than the other guys, I unlocked all these little toys, like, especially toys that required teamwork, and the guys didn't really enjoy it because they also have very much an independent mindset. You know, they play as, in, you know, they play as individuals and such. And I actually felt bad after that stream, because like, hey, let's try using this thing, the Proteus, which was a four-person mech that had two Gatling guns and a missile launcher, and one person would pilot it. So basically, there was one driver, and then three people were firing the weapons. Quietly. 
I'm I'm more of the mindset of light. Like that's the reason why I like armored core. Yes, I like that. Probably should make sure these guys just don't get absolutely annihilated. So, that acid I was complaining about, yeah, it even goes through this little cubby hole. Armored Core is great. No, no, be excited about that. I love Armored Core. Like, I, but I only, I only have armor, I only really got into Armored Core at, oh my god, this is actually terrible. This is why I hate the, uh, hate this mission. Like this. This is what happens to your entire army. I always wanted to play Armored Core. Good game. Well, actually, let me rephrase that. Um, I can shoot now, right? Yeah, so the only two things left are the queens. But this is the problem. They just keep spewing acid. So you can't see. You can't fly. And apparently we were lucky enough because they're standing right next to each other and we killed both of them. Alright, I'll take it. I will take it. I... See, now I actually do have a capture card that can actually show off Armored Core, but the problem is, um... The problem is I don't have it actually set up. So, back when you could still physically buy a PS2, I actually bought uh, one, so I actually have it in box, still sealed, uh, to this day, but in terms of actual physical space that I have, I only have space right now for the Switch and the Wii, so, because right next to those two consoles is my big old computer tower, <laughs> so, uh, it's a little hard, so while I technically could stream PS2 games now, and PlayStation 1, now that I think about it. Um, I need to just basically set up a whole new, you know, a whole new, just a whole new rig, a whole new setup. Choose loadout. Select a mission. But yeah, I think the hardest part about this game is uh, just the, just the start. It's always so slow. Speaking of starts. Not us. Wing divers can equip two weapons. See, the one like the one weapon I don't like with the wing diver is the particle cannons. I still have yet to find a particle cannon I actually like. Yeah, these are just I'm you're going to die. One thousand excuse me, one thousand two hundred damage. Terrible range though. You have to be right up close and personal uh, to actually use those properly. For now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the Thunderbow, and let's use the Sniper Rifle. I actually like the Sniper Rifle. Let's use the laser. Yeah, but those that mission is rough. It is absurd. The motherships are protected by shield screens, making aircraft attacks ineffective. But the ground unit close combat attacks are effective. It's our turn. Engaging battle. Send the wing divers to the front line. Goodbye, Hector. Come here, shield bearer. Understood. You wonder if ever going to revisit Armored Core, Dark Souls? No, I think if anything, here's here's something I always like remind myself: the people who 
designed armored core most likely don't work at the company anymore. Oh, hello, Genocide Gun. Because they designed the game back during the PlayStation 2 time. You know, the, a lo the likelihood of them still working for From Software is minimal. And the new generation who, you know, has come on in effectively taking their place don't have that same skill set or vision to make a decent armor, an armored core game that I personally would like. Yes, sir. Like, the game I would end up getting would be something completely different than what I would actually want. Hello, Red Ants. Why? Okay, either the shield bearers just ran off. I think that's actually what happened. Alright, this Hector unit's gotta go. Where the heck is that shield bearer? Oh, that's not good. Okay. We're gonna just switch over to our sniper rifle. And there's another shield bearer. No wonder why. Let's do that. Not a fan of shield bearers. The director is still at From Software. You're right, you, well, there's the developer, or, or, director, yeah, director might still be there, so you might still have the vision, but you still need the skill set. You know, it really does take, you know, it takes an army to tell one person's, you know, story. Understood. Though he still works there, like, awesome. But, I would be personally surprised. A Bloodborne mech style, you know, that would be kind of weird. Like, I'm still trying to envision what it would be. Alright, the mothership shows up. I kind of wish it took a uh, homing weapon. I mean, drones and their HP, they have like no HP. Drones have very... You can just, well, look at this. Pop, 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 pop. They're like balloons. Pop. <laughs> Gundam Versus is their most recent game. I still wish like they would release a lot of their games out on uh, on Steam. Like, I think they have a huge missing market. I mean, I might be wrong. And why the heck is that shield bearer there? That sounds up my alley, actually, from what you're describing. That sounds interesting. Yep. I know I'm not using the sniper rifle that much, but shield bearers. Always shield bearers. Also, I don't want to get hit by that, uh... Yeah, that sounds awesome. Well, good luck to you if you do it. I mean, that's... You know, I think the one thing... That, when it comes to... A lot of game design, I find that... You want to have... It's, you know, very much like writing books. You want to have a story to tell. Why did that be $60, though? That's a very complicated question. That's a very complicated statement you've actually uh, said. There's a wide variety of reasons. I personally actually don't like it myself. Because... In terms of American markets... We rarely... Wages for the average person rarely matches 
uh, inflation. Or the rate of inflation. And this is, I know this is getting a little economic. Very, it, I'm, I'm ter like I said, don't take this as like gospel or anything like that. Please don't. But, it, you know, just know it's a very complicated issue. Because... And, I, you know, I think there's actually, what was it, extra credits went over, and I feel like they've completely forgot that aspect. They forgot what the average person makes, because from their lecture or their video, it very much came from the, I've got mine, you don't have to worry about anything else. I am terrible at flying as of late. I mean, that's the reason why I rarely buy... Like, I usually buy games on sale. Yes, sir. Well, I don't know how to... Is that... That's gonna fire. Just gonna get away from that area. That was a huge question. It's like, oh wait, why are we still paying uh, 60 bucks when everything is going digital? And there's, you know, that's has a certain amount of legitimacy as a criticism. But the big issue, offense, shooting my own units now. Like, I would still like to have as my... Okay, alright. You can... Yeah, we're running. What the hell is it? Hello, Mothership. Goodbye, Mothership. Test okay. Wow, my... I don't even reach. Your people just evaporated? Yeah, they probably blew up in the genocide gun. I mean, look at that. Word of our community's spreads. Oh, thank you very much for the host. I really wish Twitch chat once again actually said, you know, how many people are hosting you. Give me a second, actually, because I just realized oh, I did not leave that up. Ah, oh, the savior, thank you very much. I think you might have me on auto-host. I'm gonna guess you have me on auto-host. How much of that city is background? How much is actually there? Um, most of it is actually physically there. So if think of uh, think about the size. These maps are actually about the size. Actually, here I could probably just show you. Um, most of it is actually physically there. So each of the maps is basically a giant square. And the moment you can actually see a border is when, and you can even blow up the buildings outside of the border. Um, well, let me see if I actually get to the side of the border here. So you'll see like a red line. Yeah, so there, see this red line here on the mini-map uh, mini in the upper right? I'll actually just hit, uh, hit the wall there. So there you go. So these traffic cones here, it's a nice little way of saying, hey, this is, uh, this is the border here. So I can't walk any further than that. But if I had a weapon, I could still destroy I should be able to still actually just physically destroy these buildings here. Where are we going, Commander? Is this... Hey, so honestly, I I find it's actually very smart. Kind of like if you play Fire Emblem. Sometimes it's actually best to just run away. Like, especially since this game can't have infinite respawns. You know, as long as there's like an actual sp a unit that spawns enemies, the enemies will just constantly spawn. It's kind of disgusting. Like, that's why I have so much trouble with the online mode, because they are super aggressive. But yeah, like, imagine the size of, like, the Just Cause maps. If you know about them, uh, those developers, or a Grand Theft Auto map, like, the today's Grand Theft Auto maps. That's how big 
these these maps actually are. Deploy the fencer team as backup. Okay. Stupid. No, the shield bear's running away. There. What? Stupid horde of ants. Oh, the other horde of ants actually showed up. Okay. Not every game have you have to chase the shield generator. Yeah, no, like you can just you know if they run out if the enemies run outside, it's like hey, just kill them there. Actually, more concerned about that Hector blowing me up with his dual plasma cannons. There we go. Yeah, but most, if not all, the mi um, missions just say, "Hey, just destroy everyone." But yeah, the maps in this gi uh, game are gigantic, so they actually, like, this game actually is a very small set of maps. Think of, like, um, playing a Warriors game. So if you play a Warriors game enough, like, you'll find just you'll find yourself just kind of replaying the same maps over and over and over again. It's actually the same thing here, but what's actually really well done about this is that they always put you in a different area of this gigantic map. And so, most of the action is actually confined in that little area there. I mean, you could go to the other side of the map, and the enemies will chase you all the way over there and such. But, because of the mobility most units in this game have, with the exception of the Wing Diver, you're not exactly going to be running across an entire map. It'll be very unlikely, and if you do... It's probably because you're taking on a challenge that's probably... You either don't have the weapons for it, or... You're playing solo online, like I tried to do. That actually did happen quite a few times. I was playing solo online, and oof, that's how I learned. Uh, you cannot play this play this game solo online, just because of the weapon restrictions and just how much health uh, the enemies have. So these are the missions I actually despise. This mission specifically, I actually hate. Is the armor in question already up to your? Uh, no, it's all cosmetic, so you can actually go to change color, and I just like looking red. I, that's my favorite color, so, but you just have custom colors. It's a little harder to show with the, you know, actually, let me go to color too. So, it's a binary thing, so, it's a very small palette of colors. Make myself look black, have to just up a white armor look, or gray armor look. So it's all cosmetic. Like, it's only one model. Like, this is not a big budget game. From my not from my understanding, is Sandlot, these are the de Sandlot's the developers. They've never really These aren't big budget games to them. I mean, they're experts at making what they make. But I just like having my characters look red. That's just my personal preference. So there's no... Like, the only thing that actually matters is... Um, you can change is the amount of health. You can actually give yourself less health if you want. I can give myself uh, the minimum amount of health. But, you know, why would I want to do that? I could just maximum... You know, that's, that's more of in setting an individual challenge, and that's offline mode. Online mode, they set the standards for you. But the amount of health they'll let you have is pretty gigantic compared to, um, compared to what you'll actually get. Like, you have to proactively farm armor 
in this game. If you actually want, actually, you know, these weapons Select are fine. Select a deploying. So this mission I actually tried to beat. Uh, I actually beat by myself. I hate this mission. Uh, because Someone you can't destroy, you can't destroy the buildings around you. So yes, that's a huge conflict of the game's mechanics. And all these spiders, they'll be pretty easy for me to kill right now. But. Because we're playing offline. Like, oh, I only have to just spray for a couple of seconds here. I'm being pulled. Please. And I, like, I can yes, ki kill pretty much everything here. I barely yeah, so I killed those guys. But on the online map, or online version of this map, the enemies, the spiders, these little big spiders here, even though these are the, actually technically the weakest bugs in the game, they never stop spawning, because there's so many different spawn points. Am I even hitting? I'm hitting that, okay. Yep. I hate these missions. And not just because there's a bunch of spiders. Like, it is literally just... Ugh. Like, I would never be able to do any of this on, uh, on the online mode. At all. Like, enemies spawn a lot slower. Enemies are not set to be aggressive all the time. Like, it would take me, I don't know, like, 40, 50 shots just to actually kill, uh, that spawn point there, that spider's nest, by myself. All these allies here, they're actually still alive, they would be dead. Like, they don't even last, like, the first five minutes. Like, it's really disgusting. Online mode pretty much assumes you have four people all the time. Yeah, that's that's my that's my assessment of the online mode. No, that's exactly what this is. Like, if you have a core group of people that you love sitting down playing games with, and you see this game on sale, or either wait for EDF five to come, like hope that actually comes out, and you don't, and you like, like if you like playing kind of like horde mode style games, but you want something to be kind of ridiculous, but still fun, like this is what you're looking for. Like, you still take it seriously, because like, hey, you're a military organization, you're, you know, Independence Day style, you know, survive. Having giant mechs go around. Or heck, just even have just four wing divers run around. Give me your arm back. Yeah, this. Yeah, you are the B movie. You're li you're living and breathing the B movie lifestyle. That's a very apt description there. Select a mission. Selected deploying. Like playing it solo, it's like I actually enjoy playing this solo. For me, this is, you know, kind of like the way a lot of people will enjoy playing, um, uh, playing like a Warriors game and stuff. Like, I like playing Fire Emblem Warriors, but I'm at a point now in Fire Emblem Warriors that unfortunately, that since I have a character at max level, I have two characters at max level. 
I don't get much of a challenge anymore, so it's like, I do the history maps, I'm at a torn point where it's like, either I bring in this uber character, and nothing challenges me, there's no challenge at all, or I, oh my god, I'm going to die here. Um, or I, uh, or I bring in a, you know, bring in a first character, and make it artificially difficult. Maybe in... I don't know about Dynasty... I don't know... Well, okay, yeah, Dynasty Warriors, I, I remember, like, you would want a second person just to... If you really just want to pass all the events. You didn't have to. You know, I don't know... I don't completely agree with that. Like, in terms of victory conditions. I've been able to go through... Then again, for a frame of reference, my experience is Dynasty Warriors... Think Dynasty Warriors 3, 4, and 5. So, I don't know if it's still applicable. Yep. Review. Let's get a review. They added a difficulty harder than hard. I believe it. Let's pop some more balloons. Pop. Pop. Oh, there's ants too. Oh, pop more balloons. Pop. Pop. Ooh, double pop. And there's a shield generator. Always ruining the fun. Like, doing this by yourself is very difficult, actually. Normal, hard, harder, impossible. Yeah, okay, I, I believe if it's like that set up like that, it would be incredibly unfair to you. Because I remember on like the highest difficulty in Dynasty Warriors like 3, 4, and 5, they didn't really pull their punches. Like the moment that enemy got there, if you weren't there to counter them or stop that event from proceeding, your, like, that event, your game would be over immediately. Or you would lose that event. Like, so I remember that it was brutal. Is this thing still attacking? Okay, it is attacking. Alright, fine. If it wants to do that, I'll be more than happy just to settle its hash. Attack your leg. Good old Achilles heel. Hey, happy birthday, Wayward. Danfully do your best to make the most of your day, of your own special day, man. Treat yourself to whatever you like. I find a lot of people on their birthday. I don't really celebrate my birthday. But I always tell people, you know, do things that would make you happy. Do things out of your routine and such. That would be my that would be my advice to you for your birthday. And also take pictures. It's always nice to take pictures. Oh no. Mini golf is life. Eh, if you like mini golf and it's your birthday trinity, I say hey, find yourself a mini golf course. And go nuts. I think the closest thing you'll get me to play a golf game would be Mario Golf. Right, nope, nope, don't shoot them. Yeah. 
Oh, I'm gonna die. Or not. <laughs> uh, and they just fall through the floor. Come on, there you go. Remain calm. Yes, sir. Go, that should summon the horde. Okay. Like, to me, this is like a game you can, you know, enjoy and play on the side and kind of look at, you know, if you actually know what you're doing or you're overpowered, you can kind of, you know, just enjoy chat. Really go to a fan restaurant family. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much like kind of childhood. I think for a lot more kids these days, just go out to dinner with your family. Usually of your choosing. And please stop blowing me up like to not a blow up and I would like to oh my goodness don't shoot don't shoot there we go I'm just gonna grab those and I'm going to run away want that big health pack. I would like to also be alive. Or in control of my character, please. Yes. Stupid red ants. Does this game have the same effect as Halo where you shoot a gun, sparrow that's out of shield, a blow up? Yes! So if you do fight, so say you have, say I have my plasma launcher, that gun I used in the caves. Um, that was basically blowing up everything. That would... I'm not gonna have enough energy, am I? Nope, I'm not. That will blow up on my face. Not blowing up on my face, since I wasn't able to destroy the spawn, uh, that transporter. Like, on the online mode, what the, well, like, one of the big differences in the offline and online is that the reason why these red ants are attacking me, since they spawned out of that chip, is because I attacked the transporter. In the online mode, they would just go for you. And they would never stop. They would not stop. It is a constant barrage. It also doesn't help this uh, this gun is not exactly the most accurate. Now I take a punch. There we go. I can see any actual armor to pick up. It's all health packs. Select a mission. Inferno. Oh, right. This mission. Choose loadout. Wing divers can equip two weapons. Mm. This is gonna be dumb, but I'm gonna like it. Select a mission. Select a de deploying. This was the this was the other this was actually the mission I got to online by myself. That made me just go like Nickling, no. The Not anymore. Ravager army has 
concentrated in this area. It's gonna fire like crazy here. I don't know if this was a good idea for a gun, but hey. This was the this was the mission to basically go like, nope, I need a team. If I want to beat this online, like if you want to actually beat this game online, because imagine all these enemies I'm fighting taking like three or four times uh, the abuse. Also, we're gonna kill our own teammates indiscriminately here. I could have been smart and actually used different weapons, but I had a feeling I was just, that was going to happen. I'm just going to keep backing up. This is another map that's very much like Battle Phase, except I probably would rank it a lot more difficult or a lot more chaotic. Yeah, it's a friendly fire gun. Oh yeah, and those Hectors are constantly bombarding you. And I mean constantly bombarding you. Pretty rude, actually. Like, they pretty much kill your entire squad. If I was a Ranger, they'd actually stay alive. Because anytime you pick up a health pack as a Ranger, uh, your allies, if they have a health bar above you, will actually also get healed. So, if there's anyone who actually should grab the units, it probably should be the, uh, Ranger. Because anytime they actually touch a health pack, they'll, uh, well, they'll actually get the stuff. I'm just gonna clean this place up. Man down! Man down! I kind of wish, though, that mechanic where grabbing health would heal your allies would apply to uh, all the classes in the game. Kind of sucks it doesn't. Like, I'm just grabbing this stuff here because there's no other opportunity to for me to grab them. Right. Gonna fire at you and not uh, go by the tree. Like, look how slow this homing bullet is. It's so slow. Oh, it's very, it's pretty much comical to me. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Oh, by the way, this mission is not over. I can tell you that right now. Uh, I think this is hits for 200 damage every shot. 
I think it's 200. It's pretty much guaranteed to actually hit your target. And I'm all alone. This is a plus and a minus. It's a very slow weapon. Yes, you can run into your own shots. Absolutely. You absolutely can. And this is why I hate this. This is why this is a very disgusting mission. So you just finished. But here's transporters. And here's four queen ants. So this is actually the first time you can actually see the queens. Oh right, and there's also the red flying units too. You know, just because you're you you didn't have enough problems, and they also love to fly right in front of you. Send the wing divers to the front line. Aw, oh, crap. And you can see just how much damage I'm taking. Deploy an Epsilon armored railgun. And yes, they will spew their acid at you. There is no... Ah, oh, shoot. Railgun vehicle is in position. Oh, for the love of God, I better get some flight. I need to get that health pack. Okay, we should be fine. Just gonna hop along and run away. Yep, that's that's the major plus. But just I'm gonna actually gonna get by that tank there. That's actually one of the tanks you can actually uh, summon in the game and pilot. It's actually a really good tank. But man. Kinda need to... Like, aiming with the tanks is very bulky. It's very cumbersome. No, like, the insects in this game are gigantic. Like I said, early missions, like... This... You know, what we've... what If you've ever watched Proton John... You know, the few times he streamed EDF. That's nothing compared to what they throw at you. And I'm sure John know I'm sure John knows about it too. And yes, I'm just running around grabbing all the actual items because I want I want the health. I want the health. Because I've learned you want as much health as possible. Didn't there used to be a city here? Yes. There used to be. I actually like that. One of the maps is basically, let's take all the all the buildings. Like, that, like, this map and Brute Force shows just the scale of how big the maps actually are in this game. That's how big these maps actually are. And this is not this is not the only time they actually use this map. They actually use this map quite a few times. Yeah, ammo. 
I don't know. I'm not exactly a huge fan of the Geist. It's an interesting weapon, though. Just because you could do this. Well, okay, maybe not kill your allies. That wasn't what I was going for. It's like, it's assured that it'll hit them. Yep, okay, yeah, see, I was I actually hit myself with my own shot. Alright, I need to actually shoot this thing. That's the one down, that's the one unfortunate part. The wing divers, well, they don't sing. They never sing. What explosion? Yeah, now the wing diver units, they didn't get the uh, voice actors. Uh, they did the wing divers voices to actually sing. It's kind of sad. Maybe they'll fix that in EDF5. Actually, since you were asking about, like, the game looking like, uh, like the buildings, which ones were fake and which ones were real, uh, like, one actually good way to actually handle, uh, the viewing distance is that if you're up close, the ants look like they're, or if they're very far away, the ants actually look like, uh, their frames of animation are actually very staggered. So that time has finally come. The operation preparations are moving forward in each region. Our instructions are to bring down the ship heading to this area. We are reliving eight years ago. See, all of that. Look how far we've actually walked around. I wonder if they do in the Japanese voices. I would, I would guess yes, actually. I would hope so. It'd be a little weird if they didn't. Let's not use the Geist 3. Wing divers can equip two yeah, weapons. 200. That one only hits one target, this one does three. Still only does 200. Blast radius, 20 meters. That's actually a really big blast radius. That's a gigantic blast radius. Let's actually just use the Thunder Sniper. Select we are a lightning goddess. A it's true. Actually, no. Let's, we've been using the lightning gun a little too much. Let's use... Let's use our laser. Can equip two weapons. Actually... I really don't... 3 damage times 10. So this, this thing actually technically does 30 damage. Which is good. But I still don't like it, honestly. Yeah, I'm just gonna use the laser. Select a mission. Select a deploying. Turns out no, turns out PS3, the How's singing was something that happened if you had three rangers in the group at random. Interesting. Stronger than eight years ago. There's only one option for humans to win. Shoot down the mothership. If we fail. Humans will be swept away and then destroyed. The future of mankind hinges on this operation. The mothership is protected by shield screens, and the air raids Interesting. Infantry units are the only ones who can do this. It's not going to be easy to destroy that large That's very interesting. Like, that's actually smart to uh, make your world look more alive. All units, engage in battle. We wish you good luck. It's gonna. The more hectares I can kill from a distance, the happier I'll be. This is why I love sniper rifles. The genocide gun is coming. Retreat. There we go. 
Oh, this this was a thing. Technically, we're supposed to be shooting the uh, the genocide gun, but I'm okay just killing this guy. Came back with a huge fleet. We will destroy them all. Don't forget that your friends all over the world are fighting the aliens too. But we should be the ones to shoot down a mothership first. This will give hope to everyone. Everyone's fighting. Everyone should be working together, but hey, let's be let's get let's be first. Let's be first. <laughs> uh, I love physics engines. Sometimes they're just hilarious. Alright. Assuming we can actually see what we're shooting at. I, I can't wait. I honestly am waiting for Monster Hunter World on PC. I hope it's good. A lot of people, you know, the hardcore are obviously playing it and they're obviously enjoying it. But I've never actually played a Monster Hunter game proper. So, it's going to be an interesting, like, it's going to be an interesting experience for me. Well, we took care of, took care of everything around us. So now we need to actually shoot this genocide gun. Hey, where was I supposed to shoot this thing? I got where I need to shoot it. I think it was. No, it wasn't there, was it? No, it was there. Okay. So that was the genocide gun. And then there's the core. That's great. The mothership is damaged. Mothership half damaged. Ah, darn it. I was hoping I could destroy it before it actually lands. Ever want to be overwhelmed? Now you can. And I, there you go. Really? No, no, oh, darn it. Like the one downside is like the moment all your allies die, because the way this game is set up, they'll fire everything at you afterwards. I think you can destroy these lasers. But... I'm sure it, it's nice. I need to actually run. It actually seems to be getting stronger. We can't beat this. It looks like we caused the mothership severe damage. We'll send all rangers deployed in the area. Win this battle. No, this is this is absolutely disgusting for what they do to you. Still 
ready for real now! A blast in the mothership's lower section confirmed. There we go. Like Got it. Fatal damage. <laughs> Succeeded in destroying the mothership. It is falling. We really did! All units, get out of the way! The mothership is falling! Yeah, if I didn't have those, like, they do give you the weapons to actually win a lot of these battles. And I think I have a few weapons. I think my laser and let's see, what? Level 37? Yeah, something tells me, like, my laser is here. This one, and la the LRSLs, and the Thunder Sniper. Those are all, um... These are all, uh... Not Inferno, they're not, or even Hardest. They're, they're hard weapons, but they're future. I've done a few of uh, the missions ahead. Plot armor? No, there's no plot armor. Ignoring the car crushing. Exactly. We got away. We're fine. We're perfectly fine. But yeah, that mission is actually brutal if you let it drag on for too long. Like I said, this game is really designed to play with a buddy or with a, t or with a squad. You can do it solo, especially offline, because they made the enemies have a lot less health. And that's what makes it really, like, it it does, like, Sandlot did a good job balancing, uh, balancing the game if you're playing by yourself. And that's why I actually enjoy it as much as I do. It's because I can play it for myself and not worry about anything. Like, okay, sit back, relax, enjoy the game. But I think that'll do it for us tonight here. How far did we get here? We actually went through a Select lot a mission. lot of big missions. This was a mission I actually uh, tried to farm for a while on the... Uh, I think it was on the Fencer, actually. Yeah, I think it was on the Fencer. But just to kind of show you how much we've played this game. So, my total game uh, gameplay time, it counts every second, so even if I'm not playing a mission, it still counts, is 147 hours. Uh, I've started this game 133 times. A lot of the time was me just kind of checking a few things. I've started 772 missions. I probably died a lot. Online missions is 93. And these are my offline stats. So, easy difficulty completion rate. And this is the total, so that counts every single class. And every single mission. So easy, 14%. Normal, I've gone through the game with every single class on normal difficulty. Uh, hard, I'm about halfway there. <coughs> <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. I didn't have any water with me. Forty-five percent, eight percent, zero percent for Inferno. And then divides up into class. So you can actually see. And you can get the achievements uh, by playing the game, uh, the offline mode. You can get all the achievements. Weapon acquisition rate is 51, so I have 50. I have half the weapons in this game. So there's about apparently 800 some on weapons in this game. Max height, highest I've made is 200, is 500 meters. Ant bugs defeated even tells you everything. Tells you everything you'd want to know. Brains defeated five. Eric Guinness is defeated eighteen. That's nice little little stats. That's for that's gonna do for us here. Let me take a look and see who is streaming right now. There's actually two people streaming right now. Uh, there's. Proton John looks like he's playing Dokapon Journey, which I guess if I remember correctly, that is the handheld version of Dokapon. And then there's Smite, S-M-I-G-H-T. He looks like he's playing Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. He always does the randomizers. So if you ever want to see uh, Legend of Zelda played in a very chaotic and a very different way, and Smite is extremely good at the randomizers, uh... You should go check that out. I'm just going to give a host over to Smite. Uh, I think it's something nice to see. But other than that, though, thank you very much for watching. Tomorrow, I'll think, like I said, I always, I kind of have to do, think of what I want to stream at the last minute. I try and give it some forethought, but if I can, I need to just take some time and just sit down and plan everything ahead. 
But this I kind of always have to do impulse. And it's been hard to choose just because now that I have all these different options, I'm kind of overwhelmed. So I'm, I might actually start Wonder Boy. I think I could beat that before uh, Secret of Mana uh, comes out. Because that's the RPG I want to beat uh, for the month of February. Dream Fantasy Star Online Episode 3. I do have that, actually. I actually do have that, and we could do that. I would be terrible at it. But we could do that. Well, if you want, leave it as, uh, like I said, I put down the, I set up the ex uh, suggestion uh, extension. Leave that suggestion. If there's a game that you want me to play through, or you want me to, or you want to check out, uh, whether it's a small amount or a large amount, uh, leave a suggestion, and I'll I'll consider it. It might not be immediately, or you know, like I said, I don't respond to suggestions immediately, but it would definitely be nice. And I accept suggestions not just for game recommendations or like, hey, you should stream this game. Uh, talking also about improvements of the stream and such. That's going to do it for me. I'm going to go host a smite, though. Thank you very much for watching. And until then, take care.